I'm Maggie Harding with the Swirly Do Skit Club, and today I'm going to show you how to make a tag. This is our March tag of the month. It's our challenge that we do every month. First thing I'm going to do is paint the tag with some matte medium. I'm using that as a glue. You could use decoupage if you have it, or actually I've glued it down with gesso before, so whatever you have will probably work. Now I have a piece of Timmy tissue here. You can use any kind of tissue you have. This just happens to be what I have. I'm going to put this over top of the tag, but I'm going to kind of wrinkle it up a little bit. In fact, I think I'll just do this first. And then I need a little more matte medium down here. It needs to be kind of thick since we've got a lot of creases and whatnot in here. Okay, so you can just kind of scrunch it up as you put it down. It's just to give our background some texture. Now I'm going to use matte medium over the top. And you can see I'm not trying to fit it all on the tag. When it's when the matte medium is dry, I'm going to trim it so that it, all around the edges so that everything fits. Now you want some gesso. You can use white gesso or you can use clear gesso. I'm going to use clear gesso. Normally I use white, but I feel like doing something a little different today. So I'm going to put a coat of clear gesso on this. It looks white, but when it dries it'll be clear. Okay, now I have a piece of chipboard. I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to use a little glue to glue this down. I need to get this tag trimmed up. Now, can take any kind of chipboard you have. This is this is kind of like art journaling. We're just plain. I'm using leftover pieces and things that I probably won't ever use for anything else. They're great for doing, for using on things like this. Next thing I want to put down is there are these flowers. And I think I'm going to put a little matte medium underneath them. Okay, remember we got some cheesecloth in a kit or two ago. So I'm going to cut just a little piece of that off. Paint, I'm going to paint gesso. Once again, I'm using clear gesso. Never used clear gesso like this before, so I'm kind of interested to see how it's going to turn out. You're going to use the clear gesso, pretty much like glue, I'm just pouring that over top of the uh, cheesecloth and painting it in with my paintbrush. Okay, and I'm going to put clear gesso all over the flowers. You want to make sure that you soak it, cover every single bit of it. Okay, next I'm going to put some, a couple of flowers on here. If you're using white gesso, if 
can use most any color flowers because by the time you get painting them, get done painting them with white gesso, they're going to be white. Okay, then just go over your flowers and whatever you decide to add to your tag with your gesso. Make sure you get everything good and covered. And this is kind of a finnabar technique. It's kind of the way she does some of her stuff. I don't pretend to be doing exactly what she's doing because nobody can do what she can do. But at any rate, it's been inspired by her work, which I am a huge admirer of. Okay, at this point, we really need to take this and set it aside and let it dry. You can hit it with your heat gun, but it's not going to really dry through those thick layers. So, Okay, I'm back. This is all nice and dry. I have a little piece of chipboard here that's not covered and I want it all covered so, and I need to cut this little piece off the side anyway so I'm just going to cut this little piece off and put it over there. Okay I'm going to add some little pieces from the March kit to this tag. Those little frames I think are so cute that come with the little words. So we're going to use those. I'm going to glue this with some hot glue. Okay, I've kind of decided to use some sort of a peachy pink, which is Lindy's Stamp Gang Cosmopolitan Pink. And I'm also going to use some Taupe of the Morning Shimmers the Bees from the March uh, Mixed Media Kit. And cross your fingers. Let's hope this looks the way Maggie wants it to look. You want to keep some paper towels close by. Since we've covered this with um, gesso, with a damp paper towel, if you put on color or too much color and you don't like it, you can remove at least some of the color. So, I've got my damp paper towel here ready to go. Start by spraying the flowers a bit. And I also like to keep some Q-tips close by because they're good for removing color from little places. Okay, I think I'm going to use taupe of the morning. This is a little bit lighter than the other one, I believe. I'm going to play with some drips now. First, I've got some opaline, I think. Let's see what that does. You know how much I love embossing powder. I think I want to put a little embossing powder 
on this frame. Not much, just a little bit. Okay, I think I want to bring in a little white now. So I'm going to use some white paint. I'm just going to put a little bit out here on my mat. Get a paintbrush. Now I have my favorite little stamp, which is just a little foam stamp with little dots on it. I love that stamp. I probably use it too much, but oh well. Well, you know the old saying, more is never too much. So yeah, I'm going to add some more to this. Found this little metal piece. Put that right up there in the corner. And this pretty little butterfly. Put some glue here in the middle of these flowers and this glue when it dries, dries clear. And I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna use some of these glass beads that came in a kit. And I'm gonna force some beads down into that glue. Sometimes the scrap fairy comes into my studio and messes with my head. And do you know what she did today? She turned off my camera when I was doing a very crucial part of this video on, for this tag. So I'm going to show you what's missing with this other tag that was just kind of a practice play around tag. I've got some uh, Delusions Black Ink Spray. And I have a very damp paper towel. And I'm going to spray this tag with the black dilutions and then I'm going to blot it up. And what that does is it kind of gets down into the creeks and the crevices and brings out definition and also gives it a grungy look. So here goes. I know that these pieces of fabric are really going to absorb. So probably more than I on it too, but it really changes the look of the tag, that's for sure. And we could add a little water to this if we wanted to, and blot up some more. That's what I did to this tag that's not in the video. Where the definition really comes out is here, and this flower's gotten very black. There's dark in there, and there's dark up under the ribbon. Just kind of brings out some of the background texture. So don't be scared. 
After all, this is a learning experience. These tags are, are our art journal. And if you really hate it or it's too dark, as I said, spray some water on it and blot because delusions and most mist, the ones that I use are all water soluble. So with that layer of gesso underneath of it, underneath it, you can remove most of the color. Okay, I think I'm going to add just one more thing here. I'm using some gold rub-on and I'm just going to rub around the edge of this right here. Looks kind of whoops, looked kind of raw to me. So just gonna do that. Let's keep from rubbing the beads off. And maybe we'll give our butterfly a little bit of a gold hue. The time has now arrived when I should say, Maggie, step away from the tag and leave it alone before you completely mess it up. So I promise I'm quitting now.